everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz and today we're going to take a first look at the new proposed Russian Tier 8 TD, the SU-130PM, which is being tested at the moment and it's going to come as a premium tank. Now, I personally am not testing this tank, I don't have this tank, but I was recently in a game where the tank was being driven, uh, albeit by a tester. And um, yeah, I'd seen the tank on Blitz Stars, funnily enough, well, it has some pretty impressive stats. Um, it's got a 66.2% win rate. Admittedly, only 99 players have this tank and only 146 battles have been played in it. But it does have a damage ratio of 2... Sorry, a destruction ratio of 2.64. So it's looking pretty mean. And, you know... Looking at the tank, it looks like it's it's a, it's a, a Russian Scorpion. That's what it looks like. I don't know much about this tank, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, like I said, I was in a battle with it. I've I've dropped all the names off because when it comes to things like this, war gaming are actually quite um, serious about not giving information away. But it was it was in a battle. I'm entitled to record the battle, and I'm entitled to show you the replays. I'm not going to show you who was driving it, and I'm not going to show you what his ratios were or anything. You, you don't even get to see what the damage output is. I know what they are, but I'm not going to tell you. All I wanted to do was show you what the tank looks like. I can I can assure you it's pretty impressive, although that is you know, just one battle, and I've only seen it in one battle, but it did look impressive. Um, the person playing this particular tank is a incre incredibly good player, so was it him or was it the tank that was uh, outstanding in this particular battle? Well, I'd say a bit of both. I mean, the, the tank itself, as I said, it looks a bit like a, a, a Russian version of a Scorpion G. Uh, basically, um, it looks like it's on what? Like a T-54 type chassis with uh, just a massive gun planted on the top. It looks a nice tank. It looks pretty nippy. The gun looks mean, looks like it's going to dish out quite a bit of um, alpha. Don't know what the reload like, it could be long, it could be short, I have no clue. It looks like it's going to be pretty paper thin, pretty much like the Scorpion. And the only conclusions I can draw from looking at this tank would be that it is going to be pretty similar to the Scorp G. You know, paper thin, good mobility, nice gun. You know, decent alpha, pretty okay-ish reload, and it, it's going to be in that vein. That's all I can think. But it does look funky. It looks nice. It looks a nice tank. It, it, it looks like it's going to be an interesting tank. It is going to come out as a premium, unfortunately. So I don't know if it's going to come out in crates. I don't know if it's going to come out as an event. Uh, I don't even know when it comes out, and I have no clue of how much it's going to cost if it if it's on sale. All these things have yet to be determined. I, um, like I said, it's still under the testing stage, so your guess is as good as mine. But I wanted to show you what it looked like. Simple as that. Um, I don't know if there are any videos on it yet. Maybe, maybe I'm. Maybe it's not a first look. Maybe I'm just being, you know. My hubris is getting the better of me. But this is what it looks like. It looks neat. It looks cool. I like the look of it. I'm hoping we don't get shafted. I'm hoping Wargaming, you know, don't treat this like a Scorpion G and uh, make it almost impossible to get the first time round. Um, but I like it. I think it looks a really funky tank. Anyway, that's been a quick look at the SU-130PM. I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Nice thing to do. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.